Lot of bounce on both blue lines here, and we are about set to drop the puck here at center. And we have finally got things going here in period number one. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. Grabbed along the boards by Spurgeon. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. Here he is, wristed on net, and there's the save. Goalies love the butterfly. They know they've got a lot of the net covered, so he slides across. Doesn't worry about this shot. Riley's got the puck in his own zone. Oh, what a chance, and it goes sideways. Minnesota's got a hold of it along the wall. With some open space at center. Offside the call. We'll get a face-off coming up. We're still in the early stages of this period. We've still got zeros on the board. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck off the draw. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Picked up along the wall by Gabrick. Takes a shot. Stops that one. The Wild have taken possession along the wall. Another stop by the goaltender. Yeah, it's in a dangerous spot. He makes a good save here. Don't forget the team store, always accessible online 24-7. Uh, you can also check out the team store in the arena as well, open seven days a week. Toronto's won the draw. Quick feed to Fowler. Toronto's in transition. Play is called for offside. It's always a little strange when you see your buddies in the other sweater, the one that you used to wear. You've just got to step past that here in his first game against his former team. Segrist wins the draw inside the neutral zone. Oh, they probably want to redo on that. Minnesota's got the puck along the boards. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Here they come up along the wing. Takes the feed. Toronto's crossed the line and on the attack. And he makes the easy save. Scooped up along the wall by Bergeron. Blocked in front. And now it's grabbed by Bergeron. And that pass doesn't go. Toronto's earned their place at the top of the league with an outstanding season. From the goaltender to the way they've scored, they are determined to stay on top. Still lots of time left here in this frame. The game is still scoreless. And now he moves it quickly to Klingberg. Takes a shot. That's blocked. Slick feed. Puts it in deep. The Leafs get a hold of the puck along the boards. Great pass from the left wing. Taves plays the puck. Moves it to the middle. He scores! What a goal! The Leafs tally the game's first goal. When you get yourself into the middle part of the period, this is where the game starts to take shape, and now they've got the lead. Toronto's gained possession. The Leafs played along the wing. Moves it to Hartman. Handles that one. And he takes the feed. Gets the puck in deep. Toronto's got a hold of it against the wall. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Looking for space inside the D zone. Here they come. Sends it in on the attack. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. And he's right there with the blocker to keep it out. And he takes the pass. From in close. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Can't make the connection on the pass. Quick pass to Kessel. Here's a shot, and a great scene. Puck dumped in. 
The Leafs have it against the wall. Moves it quickly over to Hall. Puck scooped up by Carlson. Drives it to the crease! Sends the pass over. Gives him a whack and the officials are gonna call this one. Oh, turns it aside once again! And let's see what the definitive call is on the ice. It's hard to protect the lead. This isn't gonna make it any easier now. A penalty taken? Oof. Penalty killers better be good. as we know, is ranked toward the bottom of the league. But that's not for us to remind them of. That's the coach's job. They've got a huge opportunity here. We know they've been working hard. Let's see if they can put that work to the test. Clearing attempt. And a nice job by the Killers on that one. Yeah, now they can get a change, get some fresh players on the ice. And he takes the feed. Whacks it into the offensive zone. The Leafs will try to shave a few seconds off this penalty now. The Wild have the puck against the boards. Minnesota's moving it up the ice. Bunting's got it along the wing. And that one's turned away. Minnesota's got it from behind the net. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Quick feed to Kerfoot. Oh, he gets all that one with the pad. Close. Quick reflexes, you make one, you make two stops before the puck is cleared away. Domi's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Minnesota's got it behind the net. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. The Wild have gained possession off the wall. Here's a short pass to Eric Sinek. Along the half wall with the puck. Minnesota's got it from behind the net. Moves it to Eric Sinek. Poked away in the neutral zone by Klingberg. Toronto's got it along the wall. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. The Wild have gained control of the puck along the wall. Oh, they couldn't connect on the play. Sends it over to Zuccarello. Toronto's lead is still intact after a solid effort by the penalty killing unit. You worked so hard to get yourself back. Scores! Delivers something sweet in the back of the net. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Minnesota's won the draw. Grabs the puck in the corner. Nice stick save by the goaltender. Got a piece of that one to swat it away with the twig. Moves it around along the half wall. Here's a back hand. Control the game now. You finally got the lead. You worked so hard to get in front. Don't give it up now. Toronto's taking a one goal lead here in the first. Deserved one goal lead as well, but now there's so much time left, you can't even sit back at all. The Leafs get a hold of the puck off the draw. Minnesota's got control of it now from their own end. Poked away at center by Matthews. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Johns plays it now. Quick pass to Riley. Toronto's... Greenway's moving the puck through his own zone. The Leafs scoop it up along the boards. And it's a quick pass to Kerfoot. 
The Leafs have a hold of it in the defensive zone. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. Picked up along the boards by Carlson. On the backhand! Oh, and it's just wide of the net and they'll play on. He's going to shake his head when he sees this because he's, he's in as good a scoring spot as you're going to get to all night. And he just misses the net. Let's go back to back goals. They stay aggressive after getting the first one. They tack another one on here. Late goings of this period. Toronto's got a two goal lead. They love to build on it. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Minnesota's got it along the wall. Moves it quickly over to Patan. And now he moves it to Spurgeon. The Leafs gain possession along the wall. Pushes it across to Voracek. Moves the puck to Bergeron. And he hangs on just as time runs out. A lot of people excited as this opening period comes to an end. One of the all-time great rock acts from the 80s getting set to play here for these fans. We'll catch our breath back to Portable. And we are just moments away from the start of period number two. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. And the extended stick ends that one. Moves the puck up to Kaprizov. Slides it across to Steele. From the point, looks to make something happen. And not much on that one. He reads the play to get across in the butterfly, but you still have to be agile because that puck can change directions on you. Oh, stick craters on him. So disappointing. There's $300 he won't get back. He's not paying anyway. And he shut the door on that last play. Chris has been sharp stopping the puck tonight. He's got a really good save percentage, and his team's done a good job at the offensive zone as well. Quick feed to Steele. Puck picked up by Kaprizov. Toronto's looking to break out of their own end. And he takes the dish. Nice feed from the right wing. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. And he slides it quickly to Greenway. Good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick. And the puck's booted away. Oh, and a nice play to free up the puck there. Poked away in the neutral zone by Gabrick. Here's a short pass to Bergeron. The Leafs have it from the corner. Slides the puck down low. Denies him in front. Really good positioning as he makes the stop from in tight. Great pass from the left wing up the middle now. He scores! majority of possession for this one but it hasn't shown in the scoreboard we're finally now here it felt like they were going to break through eventually they've had the puck as you mentioned James a lot now they get a goal the Leafs win it moves it to Voracek and he slides it quickly to Fowler Minnesota's got the puck now here they come on the attack quick pass to Kerfoot oh puts it wide he's got to do something a little better than that just can't finish it from there. Wonder if that gives him a nightmare later. Taken along the wall by Latang. And that slides right out to center ice. Puck grab by Latang. Toronto's looking to break out. Gaining momentum up along the side. Moves it quickly over to Borachek. Greenway's certainly in a confident state here. His point streak's extending, and he wants to keep it going. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. Minnesota's trailing by one. The Leafs win it. Now a quick pass to Klingberg. Back to the point it goes. Felino's got it in the defensive end. Can't make it work. Taken by Klingberg. 
and tries to make a diagonal pass to Hartman. Fires it on net. Too much traffic in the lane. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. Here they come on the attack. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Here they come down the right side and on the attack. The Leafs carry it along the wall. Quick feed to Polino. Dumps it in. The Leafs gain control of the puck against the wall. The Wild have it now. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Couldn't make the connection on the play. Minnesota's gained possession along the boards. And here's a shot. Walker saved to keep it out. And the puck's knocked loose. Takes it from the other side of the blue line. Scores! We well, just keep working away. Your lines roll over and over and over. You hope to build a little momentum. One shot ties the game. And now it's a whole new ball game. And we are all evened up here. Past the midway mark of the frame, we got a tie game. Puck is dropped and play resumes. Right through center and into the offensive zone. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Made that stop. But he came out and challenged him, quick save. Big stop by the keeper. Here we go, look at this. They are really applying the squeeze down in the offensive end. Here's another, and another big save on the play. Yeah, it's a sharp save, James. Right in the middle of the ice, he makes the stop and pushes it away. Officials are set, players seem ready. We're ready to get this thing back underway. Kerfoot's won the draw. Puts it on net from the point. Misses. Oh, he leaned heavy into that one. That's got a lot of velocity, but just pulls it way wide of the net. And that's broken up. Puck goes off the glove. Let's the rester go. Denies him again. Now, this is a good save here, James. I mean, he's got to read the play to get into position to make this stop. A difficult one from the slot. And they'll dump it in. The Leafs cross the line and gain the zone. Gives them nothing in front. Moves it to Kerfoot. Along the right side into the offensive zone. The Leafs get a hold of the puck in their own end. Gains the zone through the middle. Great reach with the poke check. Good hit on the play. Pinned up along the boards. Brodeen's taking it from his own end. Here's a short pass to Greenway. Fires it. Save made with the pad. Oh, he stops it with a glove. Great reflexes there. Bang, bang. Two unbelievable stops. One right after the other. He's got no help from anyone in front of him. He's got to do it all himself. Just here in the late stages of this frame, you can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Great extension on his part to poke it away. Centering feed. And that Karen's off a twig in front of the net. And that's broken up. Takes the feed. Poked away at center by Steele. Grabbed along the boards by Fowler. Feeds the puck to Voracek. And now he moves it quickly to Bergeron. Can't connect. D'Angelo stick handling in his own zone. And the middle frame almost done. Minnesota's moving it along the wing. The Leafs get a hold of the puck along the boards. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. The Wild have it on the attack. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. There's the buzzer, bringing period number two to a close. Hey, listen, we've got lots more in store here on this broadcast, so don't even think about going anywhere. We're back with more in a moment.
Tickets now. Tickets to grow. Period number three just moments away as the official signals both teams into position. There's been no shortage of firepower after the first 40 minutes, and we are underway here in the third. Minnesota's going to play the puck from behind the cage. The Leafs gain possession. Dumps it in. Minnesota's regained possession of the puck. Receives the pass. Looks to get the puck over to Steele. The Leafs take possession in the defensive end. Knocked away with the stick by Zuccarello. From the point, they take control of it. Pass broken up. Marner's got it through the neutral zone. Hello! James, I honestly feel the boards rattle when those hits are on my side of the ice. Minnesota's got a hold of it along the wall. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Directed over to Spurgeon. Moves it to Kaprizov. Takes a shot and makes a save. Crisp's got the puck. Boy, he's been under fire tonight. Been really sharp, and in a close game, you can't make a mistake that costs a critical goal. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. It's all tied up. Locks them up on the draw as they take possession. And that's taken by the defense. Shot! Oh, I think he'd like that one back. For sure, James. I mean, you don't get many chances this good in a game like this. The game has been tightly played. Your chance might be the only one you get. The Leafs have it against the wall. Oh, and he whiffs. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Bergeron. Up along the wing. And he regains control of the puck. Oh, what a save in front! We see goaltenders in this butterfly practicing it every day. Positioning, keeping their arms tight, making sure that they stay in the center of the puck. Minnesota's got the puck in their own end. Nice zone entry on the left side. Quick pass to Goligoski. The Leafs gain control of the puck. Grabs it in his own end. Zegers looks around. Here's a pass in front. Sends a pass over. Here we go. Pucks in deep. The Leafs have it now. And some good footwork to kick it away. Moves it quickly over to Bonino. And now it's grabbed by Hartman. up momentum across the zone here on the right side scores well when it's your night it's your night pretty clearly there's times when a player gets all kinds of chances and can't put it in the ocean this one everything goes in for him that's his third tonight more than half the period left to play minnesota's been the better looking team over the last few minutes they'd love to build on this one goal lead the wild have it in their own zone Gaining momentum along the wing. From his own end, he picks up the puck. Gains the zone along the right wall. Sends it over. He scores! Jumps right in as a rebound and puts it in the back of the net. Toronto's made this one a fun one for the stretch drive. All evened up in the third. It's never easy chasing the game. They've found a way to get the equalizer and now shorten the game right out. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. And now he tries to get it across to Bunting. The Wild have taken possession in their own end. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. Minnesota's got the puck against the boards. Toronto's got a hold of it against the wall. Slides the puck over to Fowler. Toronto's on the attack. Cuts to the front. Denies him in close. Oh, he had to get up tight to the puck. In close. He takes away any room. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. 
Patan's got the puck. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Moves it on over to Hall. Steps inside the attacking zone down the left wing. the opportunity presents itself, you've got to be decisive, quick, deliver the puck before the goalie can react. All done, and it's in the cage. Toronto's found themselves a critical goal here late in the third period. Now a question is, hanging on, can they do it? I think they can, but it has to be by being aggressive. You're now into the last half of the period. The clock goes pretty fast if you're aggressive. The Leafs gain possession along the wall. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. What a fun night for the fans. I mean, if the puck's not in one net, it's in the other. This has gone on from the beginning of the game, and it's not going to stop. Here's a short pass to Kaprizov. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. Great save by the goaltender. Just real smart positioning on that one. New Jersey's up next on the calendar. Do players ever look ahead to games? I, I think so. I mean, in particular, when there's one that stands out, it's a ex-Stanley Cup champion or the team you sure. used to play against. Those ones always carry a little more pop. The Leafs take possession off the faceoff. Puck scooped up by Matthews. Slides it back to the blue line. Deep inside his own end, right in front. Can he get out of pressure? All sorts of pressure here in the offensive end. They've really turned it up a notch now. You always get a little juiced when you score against your old team. He was able to do that earlier on. Here in the late goings of the period, the Leafs are looking to build on this one goal lead. Kerfoot's won the faceoff. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Dumps the puck in. Toronto's got a hold of the puck now. Moves it to Voracek. The Leafs looking against the half wall. And he gets just enough to keep it out. Tracked that puck really well. The puck gets passed to the slot. And he has to make the save on a dangerous chance. And now it's over to Kerfoot. And makes the routine save. Klingberg's got the puck in his own zone. Nice pass. Puck picked up by Bergeron. Grabs control of it at the point. Quick pass to Greenway. Gains the zone on the left wing. Pass in front. Great defensive heads up play to pick it off. That's a good play. He chips it into the offensive zone. Now he can get after it. Try and run some time off the clock here. This is where you want to play defense. Under a minute to go in the third. Nice save from point blank range. I like how he's able to follow the puck. Good save in close. And a quick save on that one. My goodness, this has been a pressure-filled shift here. It keeps it out again. There's a hit on the play. Moves the puck over to Hartman. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Oh, the sauce on that pass. Duhayne swooping in on the attack. Centering feed. A blast. And a smart heads up play with the bank. Picked up along the wall by Fowler. With the puck inside the defensive zone. Towards the gaping net. He scores! That's a good feeling, King. I got traded a couple of times. You want to get on the board fast to show that you can be part of the new club in a hurry. The Leafs add the insurance marker, which pretty much seals the deal on this one tonight, Ray. Well, their opponent pulled the goalie. They're trying to pressure to get the tying goal, but it backfires, and the empty netter puts it away. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Feeds the puck across to Fowler. Quick shot. Did you like the gamble at the end pulling the goal? I do. I mean, I, I'm well aware that it doesn't work very often, but keeping it at five on five, you're never going to get back in the game. You need to take that chance. Maybe you get one. 
Oh, the kids love this part here, don't they? They're gonna love this, too, because the players do everything. Salute the fans. They feel part of it. Well, on the most romantic day of the year, we say thank you for spending it with both Ray and I. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody, and good night.